I remembered this game I used to play. Nobody at school had it. But I was super into it for some reason. It was called Death Man. It was a side-scrolling action game. It was like a clone of one of those famous Japanese games. But it was so cool. These aliens from the planet Death take over Earth, and they print the human scores on their arms. Intelligence and beauty. If either score drops below 100, they get killed. A murder show begins. But one man put a stop to this terrible game. That's right, it's Death Man. Death Man fights against the Death Aliens. To protect the planet Earth, he kills off all ten of the top evil Death Aliens. Then, when he kills General Death at the end, Death Man reveals his true identity. Who really is Death Man? How did it end? I can't remember. I totally forgot. The mystery of Death Man is still unsolved for me. But that's about to change. A remake version was released. Now I can finally find out who Death Man really is. Finally! It's the last boss. The General Death. So today was a bus too. Friends forever, Fu. Goodbye, Fu. You're going back to your home. Damon, I love you. In 20 years, I will return. 20 years? You really mean it, Fu? Promise? Damon, I will return. No matter what. Promise. Go, Fu.
Sir, it is time for the board meeting. We need to go back in. Just give me a minute. I've got an appointment. But I am not aware of... Just watch. You? Damon, I love you! Foo! Looks like you've been living large, Damon. You used our powers to get yourself a pretty sweet piece of the pie. Are you really Foo? Thanks to you, I was able to return to my land. And now here I am, a full-on prince. Congratulations. But I'm hella bored. I got nothing to do. I wiped out the neighboring planet, but then I was court-martialed and exiled to the Black Hole Prison. These dudes are my buddies! We met in the hole. Nice to meet you, everyone. Hey, Damon. Let's team up and make this planet ours. Ours? What do you mean? I'm talking about taking it over, duh! Do it! What did you do? Apparently, superheroes are popular in this country. So we're gonna jump on that. Right, Mr. Big Shot? Foo. What are you? I'm a goddamn superhero. Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird today. Hey, what in a shitty town? What could possibly even be here? Like, what the hell is the Prince even worried about? Eh, whatever. Let's destroy it. That light. Woo! That makes a much nicer parking lot, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna build my tower right here. Okay, you go and clean up. My radar's picking up something weird. There's something real funky down below. Eh, whatever. You guys will do. Wanna go kill it for me? Okay, go find it. Fuck it up! Yeehaw! The city. It's gone. Who are they? Hey, can I ask you something? Are you guys aliens? I don't think they're here to talk, Master. Oh shit! This looks like fun! Let me play! You know how to take these guys down? Beat them to fucking death! Strategy is born from battle. I'll take the one in the middle. Do whatever you want with the rest. Let me have some fun, fucking losers! Let's go! Start the game. The hell is this? Are these really aliens? Juvie, check this out. All right. Its atomic composition is unknown. I will expand the range of this search to include the entire galaxy. I had a hit. 
world-ending supernova, an energy stone for the planet Jeff Baptiste. So they really are aliens. Things are getting real funky real quick. Mission accomplished. That was way too easy. We're the rest of them. It's only polite to accept an invitation to kick ass. Kick ass! Master, I believe the time has come to use... it. Loading the DD system. Awaken, sister. Behind enemy lines now. Huh? Gene? Have you always sounded like that? Something wrong? No. It's just I always assumed you were a female. Are you tweaking? This is how I've always sounded. That's pretty badass. If there's anything you're not clear on, let me know. I'll lay it out for you. Ah, so you're basically my navigator, huh? Come on, man. Don't underestimate my prowess in battle. I'm right up there with pick. Yeah, let's not use that comparison anymore. It's gonna make things more confusing. Strawberry, taking you down. Raspberry, double kill. As you can see, things got all funky real quick. There's probably some planet-eating type dude waiting for me up ahead. All yoked and powerful and trying to take over the world or something. But don't you worry. A hero descends. What? There are no heroes in this world? Oh, but there totally are. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around. Here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. Here we go. Taking a kill trip on death row. It's me. Sylvia, is that you? You know what to do, don't you? If you want to keep living a comfortable life, kill them all. Unleash the insanity, Travis. Let it flow. The pure, primitive insanity. The Garden of Insanity is awaiting your return. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts. Too many beers. Oh, shit, I need a toilet! Perfect location. Oh yeah, don't forget. Always stop by the toilet if you find one. Especially before boss fights. You need time to get your thoughts in order. Uh, so you know, save your damn game! Gene, where are we? In the core of the spacecraft. <sighs> So this is where the real hardcore bad guys are. What's that egg? You know, like in that famous movie where a monster pops out of the egg and attacks. Hey, the egg is cracked. Something not so good is gonna come out of that thing. Shit. Oh, you're a cute little guy. Come here, little buddy. Oh, you're so good at walking, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Let me pick you up, little guy.
Oof. Where am I? This is my planet. Well, now it's a hellscape with nothing but a graveyard and a galactic waste disposal site. <laughs> this is where we grew up. My boss, Fu, he went bad shit crazy. Destroyed the whole planet. Ha, ain't that a bitch? It is indeed. So why not get revenge? Revenge against Fu? We wouldn't last three damn seconds against him! Are you okay with a life of submission? Well, that's how I've lived. It's my destiny. Rethink this. You can still go back. Go on back to space. Nope, no can do. Either way, Fu is gonna kill me. I see. Yeah, about that destiny. I'll put an end to that for you! Sounds good! <laughs> okay, wanna get started? Travis? Oh, hey, Gene. Where is this? Inside it. We're basically in his universe. Well, that sucks. I'll begin searching for hostiles. So that asshole is hiding somewhere among these billions of stars, huh? It's war! <laughs> Not there, Travis. Where is he? Where the hell are you, black hole? Calm down, Travis. Go left. Left? Oh, left. <laughs> Henshi! There! Underestimate Earthlings. Thank you. <laughs> now I've got the Travis touchdown data I needed. What data? Uh, statistics from your behavioral and strategic patterns. Fine. Do whatever you want with that. I'm more badass than a black demon. Okay, everyone. I'm leaving the rest up to you. Prince Fu. Seriously. Ever since way back when, you really... Congratulations, Travis. Sylvia? Is it really you? How are the kids? You have managed to take down the number 10 ranked Black Hole. And you have been recognized as number 10 in the galactic rankings. Number 10 in what rankings? Rules are rules. The battle has already begun. You are in the eye of the storm. So you cannot escape or just disappear. You can only fight here. So I need to win, huh? Yes. And what happens once I take everyone out? For reals? I'll do it. Please, let me do it. Okay. Now go out and earn the entry fee for the next battle. Also, what are these guys? Where'd they even come from? Sorry, I'm sort of in a hurry. I'll mail you later, so be sure to check it out. Hey, wait! Sylvia, there's something I need to talk to you about!
One is gone. Did Black Hole get killed? I see. Dead, huh? <laughs> That's kind of funny. It was that man. Hmm. Somebody you know? Looks like not all humans are weaklings after all. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Sir, it is time. Okay. Oh, time for a meeting? Sweet. Let me watch. Fu, wait. This is a board meeting. It's important. This is a bitchin' room! Nice work, Damon! You're really coming up, huh? And you even followed my orders like a good little boy, too! <laughs> Fu, I told you, this is a board meeting. Please keep quiet and sit down over there. So, these are like... really capable dudes, huh? Of course. They're specialists in a wide range yeah. of- Yeah. Bunch of losers. Well, we're even more capable. So it's cool if I go ahead and fire these guys. Right, Damon? What have you done? Stop this! Oh, don't worry. You're a good secretary. I'll allow you to live. Ah! Okay, that's enough for the entertainment. Time for a strategy meeting. Damon, whip out the blueprints for the fighting arena. It's here. What are these blueprints? Who made these? So this city was just built without permission? Oh, come on. You've heard of LASIK before, right? Do you still remember? You mean... Ah! Taking over this planet is too simple and boring. So I decided to go with a game of conquest. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hella fun if we got some humans to take on the galactic superhero rankings? Apparently some asshole took out Black Hole. Hey you! Secretary! Get the president on the line. The president? Did you not hear me? So, destroying the planet. That was your plan? Ever since way back then? Cute little me from back then, and the handsome ass me now? We're the same. Nothing's changed. Come on, Damon. Trust me. He is on the line, sir. Mr. President, you're gonna hold an emergency press conference. Let's make a joint announcement. I will not! Whatever you thugs are- Oh, okay then. I guess I've got no choice. Do it. I am Jess Baptiste the Sixth, aka Fu. I'm Prince of the Baptiste System, and you can call me Lord Fu. Listen up, Earthling aliens. I'm about to conquer this planet, but simply conquering it is no fun, and there's probably gonna be some resistance. I understand you people. So I'm gonna provide you with an opportunity. We're gonna play a game. A game of conquest. I won't run or hide. I'll be a Daemon Tower in Utopialand. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Looks like we've got a contestant already! I don't know what army tossed that thing over this way. Run or hide. I'll be a Daemon Tower in Utopialand. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Looks like we've got a contestant already! I don't know what army tossed that thing over this way. Run or hide. I'll be a Damon Tower in Utopialand. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Looks like we've got a contestant already! I don't know what army tossed that thing over this way. Run or hide. I'll be a Damon Tower in Utopialand. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Looks like we've got a contestant already! I don't know what 
Red Army tossed that thing over this way. Behold the alien's game of conquest. Fu and nine of his aliens are dispatched into formation. Prepare to destroy the planet any time. Five on Earth. Two in the sky. One on the moon. One in space. Fu sits in the central tower. And his nine soldiers, all recognized by the United Assassins Association, descend to Earth as the Galactic Superhero Ranking Members. The following ten have been registered as members of the rankings. Number ten. The Passing Assassin, Travis Touchdown. Number nine. The Space Ore Dealer, Gold Joe. Number eight. The Alien Kidnapper, Black Knight Direction. Number seven. The Memory Thief, Vanishing Point. Number six. The Gastro Cannon, Velvet Chair Girl. Number five. The Dark World Princess, Midori Midori Kawa. Number four. The Galactic Sniper Champion, Sniping Lee. Number three. The Demon God, Sonic Juice. Number two, the Master of Explosion, Paradox Bandit. Number one, our own King of Destruction, Jess Baptiste the Sixth. The all-out, all-star battle of space versus Earth. The ultimate battle of top-class space criminal versus assassin is about to kick off. Not bad. Not bad at all. It was designed exactly according to your input. You could show a bit of appreciation, you know. Did I not just say... not bad? I'll help with the next one, too. Mr. Gold Joe has arrived. Ooh, let him in. All right. Lord Fu! Gold Joe is back! That Earthling called Travis. I'm leaving him to you. Oh, I'm honored. All the credit shall go to you, of course. What's that? It was dug out of a nebula behind the Milky Way. It's Galactica Rolling Thunder Rainbow! It's got a nice shine to it. I'll take good care of it. It'll give you great power. Now, I'll go destroy that Earthling myself. He's much weaker than you, but be careful. He's a wily bastard. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Don't kill him off too quickly. Ooh, a quick kill. That sounds like a nice plan. I'm going out. Where to?
So, what do you think about Miike's latest production? The girls series was a proving ground. Miike used it to help him get to the next stage. It's like a treasure chest of production. By preparing so many different stages to test out just how far Japanese CG technology can go, he's pouring his passion into the improvement of systematized techniques. Damn, Travis. You really hit the nail on the head. The incubator of the new idol chosen in the audition, that's just as transient for him. And nobody notices that the true awesomeness of Miike is in the fact that he used this film shoot as a way to further his own technical staff. So basically, in the next Yakuza apocalypse-style full-on Miike film, these systematized techniques are really gonna come alive, right? Miike is a greedy dude. A hella greedy dude. That Takashi Miike, man. I guess they're here. Looks like it's about time to get to work. Yeah, let's go. Sup, assassin? You the one who killed my buddy? I saw you on TV, Prince. What a lame-ass little speech. That shit was just stupid. We had our own Miike night over here. Thanks to that, I came to the conclusion that Andromedia deserves to be reevaluated. Ugh. Keep talking all you want. You're already dead. Or close enough, anyway. Because you've pissed me off. When the conversation stops, that's when you die. Oh, so you're challenging me, huh? You talk a pretty big game, Prince Dumbass. You, a human, ridicule me? That shall not stand. I'm tired of all this ranking bullshit. All I gotta do is take Prince Dumbass's head off and it's over. Bring it on! I'll give you a little kiss. This is over. I'll show you how it ends! Let's go! Get away from him! about enough from you. Now it's my turn. Where are you? Hey, assassin. This a friend of yours? Let him go. He's got nothing to do with this. You're here for me. That doesn't make any sense. You killed my buddy, right? And so... Well, this is how it's gotta be. Now you're really fucked! You goddamn scumbag! <laughs> now we're even! <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Hey, assassin! Come see me, and I'll give you a little kiss. Son of a bitch! <laughs> That's what I like to see! But don't forget, you're a scumbag too! You're not getting away! Henshin! What the hell? Henshin! Fuck! Pull through it! Shinobu! Looks like 
I was too late. <gasps> Dad? Uh, it's morning? Shit. Where is he? Old man. Shinobu. Where's Shinobu? She is still unconscious, but her chances of recovery are improving. She is in stable condition now. She survived. Good. Shinobu, come on. Wake up. Hey. Daddy. Charlotte. Daddy. 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 I'm sorry. Sylvia. Hmm. That rage. Did something happen? They got Shinobu. Yes. She is a rambunctious one, too. She was drawn to the Garden of Slaughter as well. Enough talk! Now let me at those sons of bitches! Ah, oh, the ranking battles, hmm? But Travis, first you have to clear a test battle. Otherwise, you cannot participate in the ranked battles. Then hurry the fuck up and make it happen! You are so serious. Was she so special to you? Oh, spare me your bullshit! Okay then, preparations for the test match are complete. Off to perfect world. Perfect world, huh? You know, I've known you for a long time. Oh, the Gold family has served the Royal family for about 23,700 years now. It has been pretty long. This is apparently a specialty of this planet. These humans line up for more than two hours for this shit. <gasps> and you got some... Just for me? I had Damon's secretary line up for it. <laughs> ah, long lines. Oh, wow. How delicious. These little balls. Is this stuff really that good? Damon gave me some once, back in the day. I liked milk better. So, you two are like super close friends, right? You and Damon? Yeah, we're real close. Nice. You're a good friend too. Sorry I got you mixed up in this fight, especially when you helped me break out. Ah, friend, I'm so honored. I will give you my life, your majesty. Life isn't something you give away. It's something you protect. Your majesty. Hmm, these little balls, they kind of grow on you. Number nine ranked assassin is Gold Joe. He is a space ore dealer. He smuggles and sells hazardous ores and minerals. The ores are made into weapons of mass destruction. So he is a threat to the peace and safety of the galaxy. Go crazy, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. This is totally different from the last spaceship. So if their technology is different, it means these guys have all come from different planets. This sounds dangerous. We gotta think of a way to strike back. 
Just remember that Earth also counts as a planet in space. Bloodthirsty people are generally the same everywhere. Now come on, let's go. I hope you liked it! My hyper-modern artwork! I project images relevant to one another onto physical matter, making it seem as though there's a beautiful space existing right there! It's cutting-edge magic! So projection mapping, right? I'm already sick of seeing that shit. With this sort of thing from like the second time you see it, your brain already understands what's going on. You can't not see it as fake. Oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity pop! You guys on Earth are really something. To think that you'd be ahead of us in this sort of artwork? Also, that's way too much time wasted on something like simple projection mapping. Don't waste budget money on shit like this. <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity pop! Criticized? And by an Earthling? Well, judging by what I see, I'm assuming you use magnets, huh? <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity poopity pow! So you're gonna use blue and red magnetic north-south to bust out some just slightly puzzlish attacks, right? Damn! Snap, crackle, and dot damn! That's what I thought. Bingo. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. For red, throw up an N mark above your head, and throw up an S for blue. That'll make it simpler. Gamers like that kind of thing. I don't know if I can do exactly as you say, but I'll try my best. Nice. Now show me a good time. Is this the shit you've been smuggling? Wow, you're a real shitty guy, huh? Um, you probably shouldn't touch that stuff. It's super dangerous. It'll melt stuff. Like, everything? That's why it makes such good money. <laughs> All right then. Bon appetit! No! Anything but that! That's dangerous! Like, seriously dangerous! Ah! I, I was framed! It's the ones who don't look like bad guys, who are the real bad guys. Congratulations! You have been recognized as number 9 in the galactic rankings. What's that light? Is it... Flying? Well, here, Talbot, you guys are up. You know, I never actually knew those dudes' names till now. The series is going to keep going, right? So we kinda had to give some names. Council style, huh? You like it, don't you? Yeah, not bad. But whatever. This is space, right? Can we do the small talk later? Space? You're still at the number nine spot. You've got a ways to go. Okay, yeah. But before all that, I want to ask you something. Also, I need to talk to you. You want to ask me something? Why are you helping them? Is it because it's your job? It is for you. I mean, being your wife and all. I do what I can to help my husband out. What does that even mean? These guys are basically evil aliens. 
We do not know when they might swarm Earth. So we need some kind of order here. Yeah, that's true. If we're using the same type of ranking system as usual, then I've got a lot more experience. That is why the UAA is running this thing. Damn, Sylvia. Are the kids doing okay? We do not have time. I will set up the match for the next ranking battle. Make sure you kill them dead. Sylvia, I still need to talk to you. Your guest has arrived. Mr. Black Knight Direction. Ha! Huh. Let him in. All right. And just who do we have next? The Emperor of the Night. What? Do you doubt our power? No, no. That's not what I meant. I was hoping I could be of help. You wanna help? Then sit there quietly. Lord Fu, I am honored to get to see you again. Any wish of yours is old Black Knight Direction's command. Travis must be dealt with. I'm leaving him to you. Don't let me down. I will not let you down. What's Miike's best film? That'd be Gozu. What do you think? Gozu, of course! What's the most badass Miike film then? Dead or Alive. You? Shield of Straw. Nice. <laughs> What's the most fucked up Miike film? Audition. Right? I'd say, um, Visitor Q. Oh shit, I haven't seen that one. For reals? Oh, <laughs> you gotta see Visitor Q. Let me borrow it. Nope, you're totally gonna keep it. I'll give it back, come on, you know I will. Hell no, you always steal my shit after borrowing it. Okay, then check this out. I'll lend you the whole Kaoru Chan series. <sighs> Riki is so badass. Yeah, Riki is hella badass. Why did Hollywood pass him by like that? The MCU should bring Riki in. Oh, that'd be the shit. It's almost time. Travis is coming. Leave him to me, your highness. You think you can take him down? Of course. He is but a simple human. I'm going to cut off his arms, and will then proceed to slice him up nicely. Hey, tell me about some of your memories. Feeling sentimental, hmm? Nah, I don't like it when a friend dies. This happened a long time ago. I went on a family trip to the sea, but I don't remember anything about the ocean. What was burned into my memory was a shop with a glass bulb hanging from the ceiling. I was moved by the sound of the jingling glass. And when I left the shop, there was a white lighthouse. But as for where that place was, I have no idea at all. That's a nice story. Let's go out there and find that lighthouse together. Lord Fu, thank you. Now go, Black Knight Direction. I'm off. The number eight ranked assassin is Black Knight Direction. He is a space kidnapper. 
He uses an illegal, unlicensed transfer machine to kidnap important and valuable people in space and sell them to the powerful. Go absolutely wild, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. What the hell is this place? Looks like something out of Black Raid. So is this Osaka? Yeah, it's gotta be. Everyone's wearing tigers on their clothes. He's here. Another ranked assassin, huh? Probably. I don't sense anything. Some kind of Zen thing, maybe? The fuck? Culture, huh? Didn't your mama teach you that it is not okay to steal shit? This isn't your scene. I'll be the one to punish them. I got no idea who the hell you are, but stay the fuck out of this. This town's problems are my problems. You're just like they say. I've also heard that you can't solve anything without brute force. Look, outsider. Who the fuck are you anyway? I'm from the future. It's a long story, but... Don't bother. Once we do battle, I'll know all I need to know. I won't hold back. Hell yeah. That's what I want to hear. Bring it! Activate Night Reaper mode! Strawberry on the... Sweet! Shortcake! So the rooms are true. And just who'd you hear these rumors from? You keep tossing out all this fucking foreshadowing! I'll explain it all once I take you down. You really talk a lot of shit! This is where I actually start trying! Good, good. Get ready, Grandpa. Watch your damn mouth. I'm not even close to being a grandpa yet. Now it's time for a little spanking. Not done yet! Blast judgment! That was quick! Over there! Not yet! Oh, shit! Alas! You gonna die on me without explaining all that bullshit? Whatever. You can tell me in the next world. What the hell? My katana won't budge! Congratulations! You have been recognized as number 8 in the galactic rankings. Looks like you're doing okay. Hey. Who the hell was that guy? There is your answer. Your body instinctively jumped into action, trying to prevent this kid from getting hurt. Why is that? What the hell do you mean? Someone starts to fall, you help them out. Isn't that how it works? You are an assassin. What are you doing helping people? Have you ever helped out any of your other opponents? I mean... Why would someone as bloodthirsty as you try to save another ranked assassin? The reason is... Is what? A secret. A secret guy, huh? Whatever. Go ahead and sleep here. Rest it off. I see you've gotten comfy in the Garden of Slaughter. Now, Travis, go. Off to swim the Sea of Blood. What's going on? Some assassin shows up out of nowhere and kills him? Calm down. This wasn't supposed to go like this. What about conquering the planet, huh? Calm down. Failure after failure. Seriously, what kind of aliens are... Calm down! Foo! Can you really kill this guy? Shut up! Sorry. I 
got a bit overexcited. Listen, Damon. This is a game. Unless someone shows up to challenge me, the game doesn't work. Your guest has arrived. Mr. Vanishing Point. Good, let him in. All right. Hey, Prince. Can you kill this guy? Hell yeah. Who do you think you're talking to? You seem confident enough. Just watch me. I'm gonna kill the shit out of him. Show me a good time. Anything you say, Prince. Nice. <laughs> Asleep. hate me, don't you? I don't hate you. I just don't like you is all. That counts as being in the hate category, but what would you know, huh? You making fun of me? I'm just being honest. Listen, value those who tell you the truth. Nobody speaks their mind in front of the prince. What? The people always say nice, happy things to you, but they're either talking shit behind your back or they're knocking on you to the king. Definitely. One hundred percent. Is this true? If you don't believe me, set up some cameras or something. This shit is not okay. I'm gonna execute them all. Hey now, calm down, Prince. That's textbook spoiled rich kid talk. Let it go. Forgive your enemies and make them your friends. That's how a real leader does it. Vanishing point. Will you keep being honest with me? Prince, I couldn't bullshit you even if I wanted. Hmm. I hope not. 
You stay honest with me, too. Here, this game for you. The hell is it? Go ahead, open it. What? You don't mind? What, what if it's a love letter or something? Love letter, my ass. Kimmy Love? Wait, for reals? It's for Kimmy's concert. It's an invitation to the VIP seats. Oh, shit. This is huge. Do you know her or something? Who the hell is that? Recently, they say she's even bigger than Taylor. Yeah, she's famous. I got that. This already sounds hella sketchy. Dude! Listen, just play along and accept the invitation. Otherwise, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. I know I will, at least. This concert is some serious shit. It's serious shit? More reason to say screw it. The next ranked assassin is Vanishing Point. An alien criminal who steals memories. This should turn out to be a real battle of the minds. Hey, call before you show up. What? Is there something you do not want me to see? Hey, Sylvia! I'm subscribed to your channel, you know. The recipe stuff you do is awesome. I check it out for tips all the time. Thanks, Bishop. I really appreciate you always looking out for Travis. It really should be me doing it, but... Diversity! Diversity! I mean, I don't, I don't know what that means, but diversity is something people say at times like this, right? Are you acting as an agent for the ranking battles? Prince Fu has formed a business alliance with the UAA. So as the head organizer, I can move around freely. They said to keep your enemies close, right? <laughs> what a catch of a wife. I know, right? Well, Travis is kind of simple-minded, so he doesn't realize what he's got here. I appreciate everything. For reals, I mean it. Okay, whatever. Accept this invitation and go to the concert. Vanishing Point will be there. Anyway, I'm kind of in a hurry. Wait, we're not done talking. Okay, email me then. Uh, don't, don't you want a beer? Hold up. Delirious, 
Little girl, lost for days Swore to grow up and get out of this maze I swore to get out, to forget all about that power bomb When you drop me on my head, making me walk in. That power bomb was your christening Couldn't hear me before, but now you're listening Something to think about, you got a big mouth Keep it shut, bitch, or get knocked the fuck out It's been 10 years to make a sequel Where you been, whacking your weasel? I used to call you Ramus the Great You said we should meet after I graduate I'll choke your neck, don't hold your breath See you in hell, Travis I'll squash you to death Do you remember me from way back then? I'll cook your brain noodle to make some ramen Huh? Nice I'll drop you on your dome again and again This time we fight to the death Yeah, bitch Fuckhead This is goodbye. Congratulations! You've been recognized as number 7 in the galactic rankings. And just look at this kid. I guess she just could not grow up after all. This is the last time I kill a woman. Well, how kind of you. Don't ever hit a girl. My grandma used to tell me that. Uh-huh. What are you? A good Samaritan now? How far do you think that kind of posing will get you? Kimmy wasn't supposed to be a ranked assassin, was she? I'm only after those fucking alien assholes. I never signed up for this. The strong survive. That is how the world of killing works. You have not forgotten, have you? Did you think you were going to become friends and team up to defeat the big, mean aliens? This is not a superhero movie. It is not that simple. Why don't you ask your katana there? Just how much blood it has sucked so far. It is still too early. Stay at the ready, though. Failed to talk to her again. Where's Damon? He said he would be out on his monthly glamping trip today. Oh. Guy is such a hassle. What's up with Velvet Chair Girl? She called in saying she could not make it due to an appointment at the nail salon. I see. So she couldn't make it, huh? Was it really such an important appointment? It is for her nails, so. Okay, I'll let this one slide. Seriously, women are the biggest hassle of them all. Both humans and aliens are a hassle. You got something you want to say? No, my apologies for...
Nope, I don't think so. You're just hella wrong. You're hella wrong! You have no idea how much Mike loves the original material. That's bullshit. Mike never read the original. The script is what's most important. The script is what the entire art form is based on. You can't make a movie without knowing the material. I mean, don't underestimate Mike's love for the originals. So, uh, so any old hardcore maniac can make a movie then. All you need to do is love the originals, right? What about Terraformers then, huh? Terraformers is... Uh, Terraformers is... You want to watch it again? Terraformers? Let's do it! The number six ranked assassin is Velvet Chair Girl. She is the Intergalactic Musical Chairs Champion. She works with Oma, who has a huge gastro gun. Use your six senses to walk on, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. Wow, what a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit too over the top. Looks like public funds spent badly. It's a form of culture, you know. I don't think so. I mean, what even is? I don't want to talk about this all night. Yeah, well, first let's take out this next dickhead. Then we'll talk. Today's main event, the galactic title match, is about to begin. Please welcome the galactic champion, Velvet Chair Girl. What the hell is this? Looks like Las Vegas. You know, I actually kind of like this stuff. Adrian! Ready? It's been the shit
shit. This been the shit. Uh, 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 are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, uh, if that's what I'm uh, can you get it? Can you get it? She killed herself. The shock of losing was too much for her. No way. We hadn't even started going at it yet. Adrian. For her, the most important battle was lost. Adrian! 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 <laughs> that monster thing. It's getting super weird over here. It's freaking out. If you don't stop it quickly, the world is in danger. Saving the world. Isn't that hilarious? Well, time to get to work. Adrian? 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 What a sad sound. She's crying. It really is just like tears. Congratulations. You have been recognized as number six in the galactic rankings. I still got a long way to go, but this is getting kind of fun. If I take down the baddest dude in the galaxy, then I'll be the baddest dude in the galaxy, right? Rise up, Travis. Higher and higher to the edge of the universe. I'm going all the way to the edge. Meow. Lord Fu, you have a message from Ms. Midori Midorikawa. What? She says, I'll head straight to the spot. 
I see your pets like to go off and act on their own accord, huh? You trying to be funny? I'm going back to work. Miss Christelle, I'm leaving him to you. Damon! Son of a bitch. <sighs> The Underground Society series is so great. Miike's film is just blazing. Kitamura is so badass. Kitamura was totally an assassin. I can totally tell. He can't fool me. He's got the same eyes as you. We're colleagues. He definitely gives off the scent. I hella want to see the new entry in the series. Miike really gets his shit done. One of these days, man, he'll totally bring back Kitamura's Underground series. Oh, Shinjuku is so awesome! Shinjuku is like some kind of paradise. Paradise, huh? God damn, I want to check out Shinjuku sometime. Punk! Making me look like an idiot, huh? The number five ranked assassin is Midori Midorikawa. Occupation? Dark World Princess. 
Even the UAA International Intergalactic Intel Network does not know exactly who she is. Get all your yayas out, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. Where the hell are we? At school. A Japanese school, huh? I've seen places like this in Miike's movies about delinquents and stuff. This place is kinda scary. Yeah, like one missed call scary. Something feels off here. Yeah, super off. My name is Midori Midorikawa. I'm a cleaner. My little sister's name is Doremi Midorikawa. It's spelled like notes and pronounced Doremi. It's one of those weird names people give their kids these days. My house is near Midori Yama Studio. During my rebellious period, I wore lots of Kimidori green. I was disappointed in myself for not wearing my favorite color, red. I've been cursed by green, which is Midori in Japanese. There are so many things I hate about it, and I almost totally blamed my parents, but I just couldn't hold them accountable because I love mommy and daddy. There was someone else I loved even more. He led me down this path to becoming a cleaner. What sort of path, you ask? Where do I even start? Time and space have been distorted, so I can't really get things straight. But for starters, I'm gonna kill you. So I'd appreciate your cooperation. She disappeared. Where is she? Over here! Over here. I'll keep I'll this keep fire, fire right for you, you okay? okay? It's kind of like, like a sign or a marker. marker. That's easy enough. enough. Okay. okay, are we all ready to go? Start the game. Tough, Travis. So I guess you've heard about me, huh? My boyfriend knows a lot about you. He is always talking about you. That you're free-spirited and stupid and intelligent and dumb. But you're also a nice guy with a serious side, too. I feel like he's probably right. There's a certain type of guy that reminds me of my old boyfriend. Something happened and we ended up breaking up. But the reason for that was actually pretty funny. Want to hear about it? Um, no. I'm not really in the mood. Oh. It's about time we finish settling this. Alright then, let's go up to the roof. Jump with me, okay? Yeah, that seems quickest. One, two, three! Huh? I messed up. This is... This is that rock quarry in Ibaragi that they used to film those tokusatsu shows, isn't it? Awesome! I can't believe I'm here. This is where they film Kamen Rider Zio, you know? Oh, uh, sorry. I kinda can't deal with all this otaku talk, so could you not? Fine, whatever. I can fight all day here. Alright, I'm not gonna hold back, okay? Wakey wakey, it's morning. Ready? I'm thirsty. I want some tea. Oh, sleepy. Still so sleepy. Listen, this mean, scary old man is standing right there. Let's kill him together. He's pretty tough. I might even die. No! Don't die! Oh, no way! But I'm so sleepy. Nice! Changing forms like that and all? You must really love the tokusatsu stuff. Once these guys wake up, it's all over, Travis. Whatever. I'll kill all your asses. I gotta change up forms too. Otherwise, it would be rude. Hey, sheep! Here we go! Zuchina! Yeah! 
You can kill me, but please, let my little guys go. They're good kids. Are they twins? Probably. Okay, I'll let you have this one. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> no! I'll make sure you don't feel a thing. No! Who the hell are you? Trav, it's me. Kamui, is that you? Not this one. Stay out of this. That's my girlfriend. Seriously? This is your girlfriend? We've got no beef with you. We just sort of took Fu up on his offer and, and, and thought of it kind of like going to a nice barbecue, you know? Like that thing that's really trendy these days. Dompering, or whatever. That was basically what we envisioned coming here. Are you for real? I've never actually met Fu. During the breakout, I made eye contact with him for like a second, and I could feel the dark world in those eyes. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm a dark world princess. That's right! Midori is an actual princess! Isn't that awesome? Okay, so... I kind of got no idea what's going on right now, but whatever. Since you're these little guys' mommy, I'll let my katana sleep for now. Thanks, Trav. H how can I return the favor? Come on over and hang out sometime. That's good enough for me. Trav, you really are a good guy. A bit too good of a guy, really. So then, what do you all think about this? This boss fight? It had become quite the confusing mess. But somewhere inside that confusing mess hid the truth. What is real? What is not? These are indeed questions for the ages. There is only one thing that is real. I am here in front of your very eyes. After crossing the river of life, and death. Find the place where the point and the line of everyday life intersect. I'll be waiting for you anytime. Kill the life. Destroy the life. Erase the life. Once it's all gone, it's all over. No, it's not actually over yet. The true end is killing the past. I'll see you again in the past. Kamui Uehara will be waiting for you. What a peculiar guy, Kamui Uehara. Congratulations, Travis. You have been recognized as number five in the galactic rankings. Mr. Sonic Juice has arrived. I see. All right, I'll see him. Okay. Damon, you come with me. Me? Why? Just fucking come! <sighs> Fu, everyone so far has died. Battle is about deciding the winners and the losers. It's about the rules. I get that. I guess humans are pretty tough after all. Yeah, they're not weak, I'll give them that. So how are things now? Huh. This guy is really something. The assassin called Travis. Just give me the word, and I'll go kill him straight away. Yeah. I don't really see you getting taken down by this guy. What's he thinking? I just want you to kill him. I get what you mean. Hmm. Ah, the Big Four have gathered. Or to put it a different way, only the Big Four survive. I'll wait patiently. Could this human even make it all the way to me? I'm not worried. 
Sniping Lee here will put this Earthling down. That's what everyone says before they get killed. You're probably gonna die too. Prince Fu, can I kill this guy? Take him out with a headshot. Wait. Damon. Those are some pretty big words there, huh? It's the truth, Fu. I just want that guy killed. I want to see him torn to shreds. Ah, <sighs> Damon, this game of conquest isn't for you. It's for me! Keep your opinions to yourself. Fine. I'll kill him my own way. Don't you fucking get in mine! Hurry up and take this guy out so I don't get in your way, Big Four. Prince Fu, can I kill this guy, please? I really hate this Earthling. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm gonna take a nap and wait. Don't get killed in your sleep. I'll take your head first. watching watch you'll see this movie is hella famous also who the hell are you this is my buddy Kamui nice to meet you I'm Bishop I'm kind of stuck with this asshole nice to meet you too hey didn't you guys meet in TSA well it's my first appearance in the numbered series and I'm the main character of a different game so I'm fine with the first encounter thing you're so humble Kamui Oh shit, this scene is awesome! Really? These guys are kinda creepy. Man, Kakihara is so cool! For reals! Kakihara is the shit! Asano is kicking ass too! He's totally losing his shit! Actually, uh... I, I, I don't really care for Japanese movies. Even though you're Japanese? Yeah, but still, I, I just don't like them much. I guess I kinda like the serialized dramas a bit more. Okay, then. How about the Girls X Heroine series? What's that? I recommend Majima Jo. Can't go wrong with Majima Jo. It even beats Bizarre Jelly. No, I mean like Aibo, Tokyo Detective Duo and stuff. Aibo? You mean the Aibo where me can't guest starred in Season 10, Episode 16? You've got good taste. I only have Season 10, Episode 16. But let's watch it together, you guys. Want something to drink? Okay, I'll take a mango cola. <laughs> nice. I'll have one too. On this planet, they say if you eat this before a showdown, it'll help you to win. How nice, Prince Fu. You do this for me? So happy. Go on, eat up. Mmm, so delicious. So delicious, Prince Fu. I'm gonna win. I'll eat this tonkatsu and win. Prince Fu, you're not gonna eat it? Uh, I'll just have a bite. Mmm, mm, delicious. Yeah, so delicious. So yummy. Super yummy. Mm. Oh. Thank you so much. Ah, that was good. I have so much energy. Now, I'll go win! Go, Lee! Sniping Lee. The intergalactic long shot record holding sniper. Occupation? Expert sniper. He never lets his target get away alive. Using the anaconda kill technique, he binds his prey and takes them out with a single shot. 
The Red Pointer will not go away. Can you escape from his laser crosshairs? Run like crazy, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. Travis. Yeah, we're being targeted. It's the next ranked assassin. You hear me, Travis? You got one minute left to live. That red mark don't lie. I'm a space sniper. No getting away now. Okay, okay. Now you've got 30 seconds left to live. I'm counting. Something feels wrong. What do you mean? This feeling. I've had it before. Now I get excited! Soon Travis' head goes boom! So beautiful! Headshots feel so good! Headshots! Headshots! All day! Every day! What the hell? What's going on? When the countdown ends, that's when... he comes. Three... Two... Not him. Who is that? You know this guy? Nope. That's the entrance of someone big and important. Are you Travis? Yeah. Something wrong? No. Just some memories coming back is all. I'm notorious. You're tough. What's your story? I'm a superhero from Earth. And also, I'm the WWWWW Heavyweight Champion. Holy shit! Ooh, this guy's a famous pro wrestler. Are you really THE Notorious, like, for reals? Yeah! I had a couple of overlapping road shows and was a little late arriving for the whole threat to the planet thing. My apology. You don't have shit to apologize for, man. But listen. I kind of feel like a hunter who's had his kill stolen from him. It pains me to hear this. After all, eliminating external threats is a superhero's duty. Are you really an actual superhero? Yeah, I'll be it part-time, but I am indeed a superhero. Champion, please, let me take the fight from here. You go wait in the back. I can't do that. My duty is... Protecting this town is the duty of the people living here, and I accepted their challenge. If. And this is a big if. But if I were to get killed, please finish this for me. I will, Travis Touchdown. Three left. I can see that asshole's head on a stick already. I'm glad you understand, Champion. The Champion is you. You're the real champion. This one apparently got skipped. Next up is the number three ranked assassin. But this is going against the rules. It's no fun without any boss fights, right? Whatever. I guess he'll do. Now go, Travis. Burn. Back to the Garden of Insanity once again. Click. Growl. What's up, Gene? We decided to go with still images, man. Something weird is coming. Who is it now? Switch it to be Power systems functioning. This silhouette. It's been a while. Travis Touchdown. I know that voice. You again, huh? Yep. Of course you remember a little old me. Destroy Man. 
right, then. Fuck you! <sighs> Come on, third time's the charm. Let's have a fair fight this time. I don't trust you for shit. Travis, Travis, Travis. We're old friends, right? Friends? Yeah, like good old rivals. Now let's go. Rivals, huh? That's hilarious. Shake my hand or the fight can't begin. Come on, no tricks. I promise. Can't trust you. Oh, look me in the eyes. Come on. Okay. Fine. Let's do this. Ah! This guy seriously fell for it. Oh my god, that's hilarious! <laughs> what an idiot! This guy is seriously dumb! He totally believed me! <laughs> oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna laugh myself to death! Oh shit, the wheels! Oh, I'm dying! Oh my god, this guy is so stupid! <laughs> I don't fucking think so. <laughs> Weak ass loser. Here he is again. And there's more of him. For reals? This asshole is spawning? You. That guy is so creepy. Switching to good mode. All power systems function. Travis, let's have a fair fight. I'll take you all on at once. What the fuck? There are millions of them. This is pretty fucked up, Travis. All battles must end. Here we go. Travis, get away from there. What? Jam. A custom cannon. Travis, I've located the enemy. The real one is down below. Leave this to me and get to Central Mag. I don't really get it, but I need to go down into that hole, I guess. You gotta. Shit, this is scary. Meow. Welcome, Travis Touchdown. Now let's have a fair fight. So this is the real one, huh? This place. It's been turned into a destroy man factory. What the fuck are you even trying to do, you weird ass bastard? I'm Destroy Man, the superhero. I destroy the evils of this world. Evil assassin Travis Touchdown. I'm a destroyer. Yeah. Oh, this dude is such an immature little bitch. Even more than you. This time, I'm really gonna mash up those brains of yours. Jam. He was an unaffiliated terrorist. He took money from militaries around the world, tried to mass produce himself to take over the globe. Have you been watching him? Yeah, I was observing him. Thanks to you, I was able to stop him. He was one tenacious dude. Yeah, you got that right. All right, Jam. Let's run. Let's. Whoa!
Can I really hire you to do this? If it's a contract, I won't turn it down. Kill this man. What's the price tag? Stock in my company. 30% of the total stock. Convert it into cash, and you'll be a very rich man. Sounds like a good plan. I'll take the job. The transfer is complete. Confirmed. The job will be done shortly. When? When are you gonna do it? Before the autumn winds blow. Seriously. I'm really counting on you. Please, kill him. No need to rush. I don't see Damon. I have not heard from him in several days. What happened with Sonic Juice? I cannot get a hold of Mr. Juice either. Eh, uh, he's probably off training again. Sonic is a tough guy. I mean, it's my fight, but still. <laughs> okay. There was something wrong with me there. I spent too much time fucking around. How many hours of gaming per day? Ten hours. Ooh, that's too much playing. It should be like an hour, right? It looks like I've gotten too caught up in gaming. I'm sick of video games. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> You can't even beat your desire to sleep, huh? Mm. Wide awake now, huh? Uh. Hey! Mm. Hey! Uh. Just how long are you gonna sleep? Uh. Hey! Wake uh. up! Wake uh. up! Uh. It's morning! Nope. He's not gonna wake up. You gonna come all the way here to me, Travis Touchdown? The big problem is Miike's comedies. You want to watch the most song one more time? No, we should go back to Zebra Man. Yeah, Miike and Kuro go great together. Kuro's comedy is complicated, you know? Only Miike can use imagery to make it work. Kuro's scripts are really strong. He always ends up leaning on the words. And Miike uses his imagery to push back without leaving all the work to Kuro's words. PUSH, push BACK! back! Charlotte. Hey, you want a beer? Yeah. Damn, that's good. I've been revitalized. You're finally doing better, huh, Charlotte? Quit calling me that. It's a nice name. It suits you. I'll fucking kill you. Hey, which Miike movie do you like? Miike? Who's that? For reals? You don't know Miike? He's like a film super director from Japan. If it's Japanese stuff, give me anime. What anime do you like? Votoms or Dugram? Seriously? Damn, that's cool. My dad was a Takahashi fan. I see. 
He's got good taste. Can knock it the fuck off. Don't get cute. Well, let's watch it together. All I got is Lesnar, though. Nice. And beer. Let's drink. How nostalgic. We used to drink this after school. Ah, I always got Muscat, and you always got Kyoho. Huh. <sighs> the sweetness of the grape really invigorates a tired body. It was a little treat to myself for working hard. Oh yeah, that stuff was good. It's all coming back to me now. So you remember things too, eh? You have like, good memories and all? For most things, I sort of have to gather the pieces together, or I can't remember. I see. So you are a victim too. In that case, can't you just give up on this planet? Sonic? Are you... are you being serious? Yes. I think it's worth considering. I can't back down. You should know this. My family's destiny. Oh, that stuff again. Just do away with it all. That's not gonna work! Are you backing out on me, Sonic? I will not back out. I will follow your orders. But I do hope that you will back out. The future? Can you see it? <sighs> I... I am not sure. I must go. What's the future like? I will tell you when I get back. Make sure you come back, Sonic Juice. Next time, let's try some peach juice. The number three ranked assassin is Sonic Juice. Occupation? Demon God. He is known as Fu's right hand. He is like the Guan Yu to Fu's Liu Bei. He is even called the Guan Yu of space. Let all your madness out, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. This is taking way too long. How long is this guy gonna walk? Just be patient. Ugh, it's so damn long. He's probably tired. For reals, this is fucking long. He might be injured. Isn't this just a huge waste of time? Just chill, okay? We start getting antsy, we lose. What the fuck is the point of this? He's just fucking with us now, right? He's getting closer. Gene, it's time! Sorry for the wait. I'm fine. But the younger gamers don't like waiting for shit. And that five minutes probably caused a lot of them to scrap this game. Really? Ooh. Hey, young gamers. I'm terribly sorry for making you wait. Uh, you don't have to go that far. And you've probably gotten cold standing out here. Don't worry about it. I've hated the sea since I was a kid, that's all. <laughs> you look like a warrior. So even Earth has some good soldiers too. I'm no fucking soldier. I'm a goddamn killer. Anyone getting in my way gets killed. I'm a passing assassin. You don't look like a bad soldier. No, either way, if you're going to take us down, you must be pretty tough. Fuckhead. This ain't the pub. I didn't come here to shoot the shit with co-workers and have a few beers after work and go home. We're gonna fight to the death. Then let me ask you this. 
Why do you want to kill me, hmm? If you're gonna fuck up my town, I don't give a shit who you are. You're my enemy, so I gotta kill you. That's all. I'll be honest with you. I don't agree with Fu. That because this planet is evil, it must be conquered and ruled over. But, for some reason, I am unable to find the roots of evil in your people. I wonder why. I believe you may be a good species after all. That's just because you've been lucky. You've only seen those of us worth looking at. Even if that were indeed the case, I cannot deny that I am unable to ascertain the point of fighting you. What's he got to say about it? Whom do you mean by he? Ah, you mean this. I got no idea how this works. It is an avatar. A physical and a robot. Uh, okay. I think I get it. But I also kind of don't. Now then, let us negotiate peace. No need for any of that. You just get the fuck out of this town. You willing to back off? That is going to be rather difficult. Fu is terrifying. If I were to disobey him, my entire species would be wiped out. This planet, too, was destroyed by Fu. A place as beautiful as this? This world was purged, its civilizations decimated, left with nothing but a legacy of death. I guess that settles it then. We're destined to fight. In that case, let's do it this way. I am no good with action type stuff, so let's do this RPG style, hmm? Why not fight in the genre of our liking, right? Speak for yourself, buddy. I'm all action, or GTFO. Oh, well, now you're trying to push your own preferences on me. Allow me to demonstrate my power. Encounter! Ah, yes, that's nice. This is how we fight. Hey, what the hell? I can't move. What the hell is going on? Oh, come on. You're a gamer, aren't you? I shouldn't need to explain this to you. Ugh, my beam katana won't fucking move. Preemptive strike! Legendary water! Shit! We gotta attack with command input? We take turns attacking. It's an extremely fair way to do battle. Ah, I don't like this. So this is RPG style, huh? This made me break my damn controller, so... What? So you don't know... <laughs> You're certainly behind the times. Nope. Even if they... It, I'm not going anywhere near... It. Why not? What reason could you have to be so stubborn about it? Because the characters look fucking The characters look The characters look But but do the characters look The characters look You know, you're right. They look so I had been totally blind to that. <laughs> I never noticed. You know, but, but what I think really hard about it, I think it did sort of feel that way after all. I mean, all the revolutionary technology paired with the sheer branding power that is... <laughs> I couldn't face the reality that the characters look absolutely... Well, don't beat yourself up over it. It can be two things. Everyone and their mom seems to worship... And at the same time, the characters do look... Shit. Nobody's at fault here. Not even designs are at fault. You are really something, Travis. Looks like you really are a crazed psycho killer after all. You know what? Fuck it. I'll follow your lead. Off to the world of RPGs. Show me good time, okay? Tonic Juice has not yet noticed. <laughs> Taking damage! <laughs> <laughs> 
soon as Jess is in a pinch. Sonic Juice Special Attack! Legendary Water! Juice is screwed! That's enough of this JRPG bullshit. From here on out, we're having a good old boss fight. Ah, like where some huge boss sits out in the background, throws out hammer punch attacks and waves of bullets again and again. Once the player figures out his patterns, they have to get their timing just right to jump in, counterattack, and then they have to keep scraping away at this massive energy bar to take him down, huh? That sort of boss fight? You really know your shit. Come on, don't let me down. <sighs> Exceeding expectations is exactly what a boss fight is meant to do. <sighs> You're going to die right where you stand. Let's go! We're gonna push it to the limit! So this... is the power of light? Fuck off! Wait! What? I submit... I give up. I cannot fight pointlessly any longer. Begging for quarter, huh? So even aliens have that sort of thing. There are people waiting for me on my planet. I cannot die yet. Fine, you're an interesting guy. <laughs> you fucking dick prince! You're getting soft, assassin. You can't beat me like that. You're too soft. <laughs> Wasn't that your friend? Ah, I've forgotten about all that old stuff. We're in different positions now. Whatever. Let's settle this here. Yeah. Looks like we've got the stage all set. Bring it! <laughs> Rules. You will be stripped of the number one position. Do you still want to fight? I'll hold on to this bloodlust till the actual fight. You just wait, Prince Dickhead. Congratulations. You have been recognized as number two in the galactic rankings. Next up is the final battle against Prince Fu. All of a sudden, I'm number two? Number two was Paradox Bandit, but Prince Fu killed him. Deep down inside, it looks like he's sick of this conquest game. Travis, it means he's recognized you as a threat. He is scared of you. Oh yeah, I could feel it. That was some balls-out bloodlust. I've never seen anything like it. He is waiting for you at Daemon Tower. What's that ship? I borrowed it. A certain benevolent third party said I could use it. Here's the copyright related stuff. Thanks a lot, Yura san. With that kind of technology, I could have come to this planet without full armor. This play of slaughter enters the final act. Round and round, Travis. Go round and round this hell of battle. Go round and round and round again. Oh, I almost forgot. It's time for my beach yoga appointment. Sorry, gotta go. Sylvia, I need to talk to you.
know what makes Miike perfect? He's even good at period pieces. Here it is, the big three period pieces. The best one has got to be 13 assassins, right? After that, it's ninja kids. Harakiri, Death of a Samurai is a masterpiece too. The casting is amazing. Who's this cool ass Japanese dude? Yeah, Takayuki is great. That sort of instability is awesome. Takayuki isn't acting. He's swimming in the sea of imagery. Kubota's gonna go places too. Kubota? From Katai Investigator 7? That's one good looking dude. Nobuaki from Crow Zero 2 freaked me out. Shun is cool too, but Nobuaki is hella sweet. And not enough can be said about Miike's delinquent movies. He totally gets the fine line between delinquent and Yakuza. The Yakuza and his delinquent movies are stand-ins for the world of grown-ups. He really burns depth and fear into his imagery. Fuck! Miike is so awesome! For reals. <gasps> Bad chill. I haven't even started over your dead body yet. I'm gonna go outside real quick. Little brother. You came, you cosplaying dickhead. Battle is all about rhythm. If you can pick up on certain rules and signs, you can leave your body to the rhythm and simply let yourself dance to it. <laughs> but even so... You know, having a brother like you? It's fucking embarrassing, you retweaked asshole. How many times must I say this? I saw a movie about God, and it just flowed through me like electricity. I realized the anguish of having such a good-for-nothing little brother and came to the conclusion that I have to stop you. Yeah, no thanks. Quit getting in my way with your personal bullshit. Hey, do you remember? Nope. Listen, little brother. It was a snowy day. We three siblings made our escape from our serial killer father. We ran through the snow. I was holding Jean, who was still small, and you were crying as you ran. We spent days and days in the woods. We built an igloo out of the snow to escape the cold. We had finally found our way to a major road. Those huge cars moved in and surrounded us. We heard the sound of the locks. The adults, they took us, and they tied us up. After that, I lost all my memories and had them overwritten with those of a child born to the cool-down family. So fucking what? This is something you gotta bring up right here, right now? Right here, right now, is exactly why I bring this up, little brother. You were always crying. Keep on crying as you live, as you always have. No, keep on crying as you die. You really turned out fucked up, you know that? The fuck is all this dark side bullshit? Before worrying about me, first kill that asswipe. Phil. He's not my type. He's yours. In that case, draw! Taste my cursed crucifix blade. This sword cuts like no other. Let's go, you fucking prevert! Yet! This isn't over yet! Don't cry, Travis! Don't cry! Don't you fucking cry! Travis!
Congratulations, Travis. This has nothing to do with the rankings, but how does fratricide feel? Refreshing. That is great. Yeah. Just one left. Prince Fu is waiting. Sylvia, once all this fighting is over, will you listen to me? I need to talk to you. You are right. I will think about it. Is this a bug? Seriously? You're just gonna bug out here. This shit is gonna get recalled. Hironaka! Leader! You around? Takumi, you there? Kuroda! Huh? Iwasaki? Ah, oh, you're not there either? You gotta keep the save-related stuff in working shape, man! Who the hell debugged this shit? Don't tell me it was their checks are way too lax. Should have gone with... Wait. This is no bug. You assholes! Are you Henry's buddies? You dirty fucking cosplayers! You screwed up. You piece of shit! I told you. As your older brother, it's my duty to kill you. It's gonna take more than this to kill my ass! That's good, little brother! Struggle! Suffer! Scream! It's over.
Hey! Anybody there? Hey! I'm still alive down here! Somebody give me a hand, huh? Hello? Anybody there? Gravekeeper! Hey! Hey! Huh? I hear someone talking. Somebody! Seriously, I'm gonna die! Let me out! Help me! Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. Seriously. What a pinch, huh? Getting buried alive like that. Huh? No way. For reals? You're... My name is Miike. You're a friend of his, right? Mr. Miike? You're really Takashi Miike? Are you shooting something here? You finally making your Hollywood debut? Andro Media 2! No, that's not it. Ichi the Killer 2! Oh shit, I hella wanna see that! Or or is it Yakuza Apocalypse 2? Or, or something totally new! No. In Japan, it's called Nanakaiki. In Buddhism, the number seven is very important. So, we visit our friends' graves after a full six years have passed. And so, as I was walking by, I heard your voice. Oh, Mr. Miike, I know you just totally saved my life, but I've got a request. Do you mind? What is it? I'd be happy to do whatever I can. Could you film a live-action version of No More Heroes? Everyone's here? Master! You're alive! Shinobu! Our defensive battle was a success! The champ's here too! Welcome back, Grandpa. You're here too. You'll be going up against him next, Trav. Yeah. And she's here too. Don't worry about me. My dad took that asshole on by choice. Don't misunderstand. I got no beef with you. Charlotte, the bloodlust is back in your eyes. Don't call me that! Leave the rest to me. I'll wrap this all up for good. How bleak. It wasn't that long ago, but it somehow feels nostalgic. It feels like it was years ago. Give it up for Travis! Humans aren't all bullshit after all. He's no representative of humanity. He's just a street punk. Why do you hate him so much? I hate punks! They're violent, evil psychos. Kinda like you, Fu. This is my fight, but it's Travis's fight as well. As fighters, we understand each other. Somewhat. But you... You don't fight. That's right. 
I have nothing to do with this. I was simply dragged into it all. You really believe that? Think about it! Why would Travis come here? Was it a coincidence? He's... Because he's an assassin. No. You brought Travis here. You wanted me to do it. To kill Travis. I never asked you to do that! We're connected here. So I wanted to fulfill your wish for you. What? For me? The final battle. Watch it up close. Watch as Travis dies. Phew. I'm sorry for the trouble. It's cool. Let's watch some movies. Today we're doing a Miike and Hideyaki viewing party. So, how are your arms doing? Slowly but surely, I'm getting used to the sensation. I can't hold my sword just yet, though. No need to rush. I want to hurry up and help you out. What do you like, Shinobu? What do I like? I like my master. So you're a real straight shooter, I see. That's not what he means. What kind of movies do you like? G-style stuff. G-style? Gundam type? Terraformers! Are you a Terraformers fan? Which is it? Did you start off with the original? Or did you see the movie first and then the original? Terra? I don't know what that means. By G-style, I meant something like Barbados swordplay. Ah, that G-style, huh? Are you trying to get some practice in? Yes. The broadsword action is especially helpful. You're a real studious one, huh? My way is the way of the sword. Wow. What a line. For times like this, Miike and swords means... Blade of the Immortal. Huh? Immortal? I love the original. I'd like to watch that one. Please show me the film.
number one ranked assassin is Jess Baptiste the Sixth. Occupation, King of Destruction. You don't need me to go on, do you? Let all of your madness bloom in full, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. So you actually made it all the way here. I'm more pleased than surprised. To think that there was a shining pebble in the rough of that trash planet after all. You're that shining pebble, but I'm a fucking diamond. And that's quite a huge disparity. You just can't stop talking, can you, Prince Dumbass? Do you really fear me that much? What the fuck you say? Fear? What the hell is fear anyway? I can't even comprehend the emotion you call fear. No, seriously, tell me, what is fear? That's sad. Didn't your mommy and daddy teach you? It's not nice to cause trouble for others. No? Cause trouble. And you'll get scolded. But nobody's ever scolded you before, have they? My daddy scolded me once. I was punished. And was sent to rot in space prison. Black hole prison? It's basically paradise. That wasn't punishment. You just went on a nice little vacation abroad. And that's how we get Prince dumbasses like you. Yeah, just keep talking. Keep fucking talking. Go on, get angry, you fucking loser. Get all nice and salty for me. Fucking assassin! There we go. Those eyes, right there. The dumbass is turning into a beast. Kill you. I'll kill you. I'll Kill you! Oh, nice scary eyes! That's what I want to see! Come at me! Kill me! Demons don't got shit on me! I'll kill you! You're getting real fucking crazy now! That's what I'm talking about! Ah!
Goodbye, fool. Now fuck off! So he's finally dead. Nice work, Travis. So this is what it was all about? Looks like my hunch was right. You... you're a friend of his, right? His friend? Are you kidding me? That crazy alien bastard was just a pawn. I'm the real king. I see. So the real scumbag is you, then. I totally missed that. It's all you, Travis. You. You! You hit me, didn't you? You hit me! Not even my dad has ever hit me! Oh, okay. So you're the asshole who forced Juvenile out. I remember now. Now it's my turn to hit you! Travis! Thunder break! me about this? What the fuck is happening? Hey, that Glastonbury thing. Call it. That's been decommissioned. Too much dark matter. It deteriorated. Okay then. What the hell do we do now? Juvenile, please do something about this. I cannot do anything right away. If I had around two years, I could help. That's not gonna work. Wait a moment. The dead cage is going off. It is... Transferring something over from another dimension. Transferring? Transferring what? Some sort of unknown huge object. Starting countdown. It's not a monster or something, is it? We get one more monster or demon or whatever, and this town is screwed. Yeah, more like this planet. Three, two, one. Here it comes. And this second, the transfer is complete. An Arsenal Volox model has arrived. What? The mech from Damon X Makina? From the Japanese publisher Marvelous? An Arsenal? And it's the Rollout model. The model with the same coloring system as the Glastonbury. Travis, hurry up. Use it. Duh. I got no idea what the hell I'm doing. But here goes nothing. Pain Supernova. I'm in the cockpit. Unlock all weapons and fight. Here we go, Chief. Here we go, Dad. Where the hell are we? The edge of space. Maybe even the promised land. Nice place for a final showdown. We've come so far. The train keeps going. On and on forever. It's over, Travis. Looks like this is the final stop. 
We'll settle this with sumo. Sumo? Like Japanese sumo wrestling? Yeah. Real men settle shit with sumo. Fine. Now for the final transformation! Start the game. The final game! I've still got somewhere to go home to. But you... You don't! Be sure to apologize to Juvenile and have fun hanging out with Prince Dickhead in hell! <laughs> Nice place for the home run king, huh? Working old buddy. Fucking dying on me like that. Daddy, I was never able to say this, but you always looked so cool hitting home runs. You always bought me marble fudge ice cream after your games. I actually wanted coffee flavor, but you always assumed that a little kid would want marble, so I never said anything. dad, huh? Well, someone kills your kid. I guess you're gonna get mad. Hold up now. Do not jump to conclusions. I have traveled vast distances to come to this planet, Earthling, to enter into a peace accord. Are you the representative of Earthlings? Do I fucking look like it? In that case, you 
would appear that peace negotiations have failed. Whoa, whoa, what? Wait a second. At first, you gotta talk with some actual representatives. And then... Under Baptiste interplanetary law, I hereby seize the planet, Earthling. Do it! Who the hell are you? Dad, it's me. Have you forgotten what your own kids look like? What a shitty dad. Hunter and Jean, is that you? Who? Master's children, the twins. Wow, you guys have gotten big. They're from another world. Wait a second, Hunter and Jean? Is it really you? We came from the future. There's no time to explain. Just look at the situation. Mommy, I took out every single one of them. Good boy, Scott. Dad, let me introduce you guys. This is Gene's son, Scott. He's your grandson. I didn't mean to hide it, but getting to fight you, I was so happy. You're so tough, Grandpa. Uh, hold up. This is like the actual final for real's ending? What, what the hell is going on? Somebody! Explain this to me! Travis, the battle is not over yet. Your next opponent is up to the north. You came from the future to kill Uncle Henry. That cosplaying dickhead killed you and is counting down to this planet's destruction? Oh, snap! My great uncle teamed up with some super messed up aliens and was attempting to conquer the planet. So we have to change the future. Come with us! Come with us, otherwise you're gonna die! Oh, snap! Welcome, Travis, to the Garden of Insanity. Next up, Family War. Oh, snippity snap! Thanks so much for playing.